Hello everyone, how are you? Iris Zero here, again with an X. I hope you're well, I hope you all had a nice weekend. Whenever you're watching this. Uh, so, today's video, I'm a little bit tired. I stayed up uh, like a goose watching The Elimination Chamber. Which was a... I suppose, could you call it a pay-per-view? It was on, I think it was only on uh, place, uh, WWE Network. It's going to be PlayStation Network. Uh, WWE Network. I think it was the first kind of pay-per-view-like show they did on the network. And um, I stayed up watching it. It was, it wasn't awful. It was actually, it was actually pretty good. Uh, some matches were kind of boring. The whole point of the Elimination Chamber, I'll set it up, is this big, huge cage is in, uh, is surrounding the ring. And there's four pods there's six guys and four pods. At the very start, the four pods are filled, and then two guys start the match in the ring. And then every I think it's four minutes, a new guy comes into the ring, and they add and it's um a key, it's last man standing basically. It's like you pin a guy once he's pinned, you're out. And uh, there were two elimination chamber matches. One was for the tag team championships. Uh, I don't know the name of the team. I a lot of the newer guys haven't really been keeping up, but it's a team with Kofi Kingston. They won it, and the um, the other Elimination Chamber match. There's other matches, but the ones for the Elimination Chamber was for the Intercontinental Championship, which was won by Ryback. It had um, let's see who who did it have? It had Ryback, Sheamus, who's playing uh, Rocksteady in the new Turtles movie. He looked pretty cool. Can't wait to see what he's like in makeup. If they do that, uh, him, you had Seamus, uh, oh god, my head's drawn a blank, but it was a good show, right back, ended up winning, um, and of course, Daniel Bryan being the other gracious, good guy, lovable, good guy, and then the belt said, hey, you deserve it, you know, yada, 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 so, uh, yeah, it was both Elimination Chamber matches, they were great, the, uh, the more the the tag team one was more of kind of like a high flying one because they were more like a high flyer wrestlers. Uh, but the other one was more of a ground based one, more kind of heavier because the guys were bigger, the guys were better. Um, Divas match was uh, Divas match. You know, there's, I mean, the fact that they're called Divas is um, kind of says it all. My hair is so distracting. Just finished the shower. Just finish this shower. Um, so yeah, that uh, that's up. Then John Cena faced um, Kevin Owen from NXT. It was um, it wasn't for the title. Both of them have their own titles. Uh, Owen was is the NXT champion, which I haven't watched it yet. But after watching him tonight or last night or tonight, uh, whatever this morning, uh, I definitely want to watch NXT because apparently that's great wrestling. Great wrestling with the entertainment part is kind of, kind of lower. It's more wrestling focused, so I really should watch it. So um, he beat Cena. Um, <clears throat> in a, it was actually a great match for his first match in like the you know big leagues. He really got up these game, and it was a it was a great match. So there was that, um, and oh, and he won. What was actually great is he won fairly. Which was absolutely amazing. I remember someone on Twitter said it, he thought it was great. He lost fairly to the kind of guy who looks like he'd be in the audience chanting Cena sucks. But I mean, fair play for Cena to, you know, say, yep, yeah, I'm gonna, you know, I'm gonna be team player. I'm gonna let this guy beat me because that's what the company wants. I'm not gonna use wrestling terms. I hate when fans use wrestling terms. I hate when fans use wrestling terms like oh well it was so good to see John Cena put him over uh, so yeah uh, the main event was uh, Dean Ambrose against uh, Seth Rollins for the WWE title and it was I hate when matches end in disqualification I, I wanted to finish when it's like wait this guy won because either tapped out or by pinfall I hate count outs I hate disqualifications but you know, especially in a title fight, but whatever. Uh, so Dean Ambrose won by disqualification, but because of wrestling rules, he doesn't get the title, but he left the ring. He left with the title anyway. Um, so it'll be interesting to see what happens on Raw. 
tonight. And the good thing about Raw is, after Raw on the network, it's going to be Stone Cold interviewing Paul Heyman. Which, if you've ever heard any of those interviews on Stone Cold's podcast, were absolutely amazing. Look them up. They're just, they're super cool. Paul Heyman just, because he doesn't, like, he's really honest. Like, he's not a dick, but he is really honest, and that's what I like. I mean, that, that's what I like. He's, he could talk for hours, and he just want to hear every word the guy says. So, um, so yeah, that's the review. Uh, that's, um, it's not really a review. I just talked about it. Uh, the match between Dean Ambrose and, and Seth Rollins was actually pretty good. I will say, and both of them, they're, you know, they started out together. They're still young. You know, one or two hiccups, but it was still, you know, still a solid match. So I can't wait to see how uh, Money in the Bank, that next event, Money in the Bank, turns out. That should be a good one. So yeah, so that's it. Uh, that's it for today's video. I'm going to do, record another video, because I might be traveling tomorrow. Uh, that'll probably be a uh, Halloween. Uh, I'll probably talk about the Halloween film. And after I fix my hair, I'll just put on a hat. So it makes it look like they're two completely separate videos. So uh, until tomorrow. So uh, until tomorrow. Um, overall, if you want to give a score, I'll give it a 7 out of 10. 7 out of 10 for the Elimination Chamber. So until tomorrow. Um, I guess I'll see you next time. Like the video. Subscribe. If you don't, don't. So till then, till tomorrow, have a good one.